I'm going to show you how to make dal very quick and easy. It's gonna be so fast and so easy. So here is dal. I have been soaking this from yesterday. You can soak at least eight to 10 hours. A lintel is supposed to be soaked. So this lintel is a orange lintel. So I have soaked in this one cup. You can see the water. You can have to add like, you know, when you soak this, you can add some more water. They observe water. And I'm cooking in the pressure cooker. You can cook without pressure cooker also. Pressure cooker is faster. So I'm going to add four cup of water uh, to start boiling this. I started here this, I'm boiling this uh, dal. So I'm going to add some red chili powder. You can add one four teaspoon here, uh, but I'm going to add half teaspoon. Turmeric powder, half teaspoon. And salt to taste, I'm going to add one teaspoon. And you can add later, you can add later if you need more requirement, you can add later salt. So now I'm gonna cover this, put this lid on and let this cook. So see, I put all the spices all together. It's so fast and quick. That's why you need like lintel, always soak, you know. If you have like lintel, you can soak, you can plan ahead. So you can soak them just more faster and easy to digest. For I'm gonna cook this at least when it started boiling. So 15 minutes after the boiling. And you can see according to your requirement how much sometimes some pressure cooker are different than other. This is a little different than regular I have uh, back in North Carolina. When you start in pressure cooker, you can uh, you know start high heat. As soon as it start boiling, uh, do like medium heat. So now I'm gonna uh, set up the timer also. Uh, I don't need it, but I just uh, like to set up. Then you guys know. Uh, let's. Let's do 20 minutes because this is not boiling yet. So let's do 20 minutes total. Just as it started boiling, so I'm going to cook this in a medium heat. And this is gas, so you have depend like you know how which stove you're using, some are like high, some are low, you know, so you can manage, you can like manage according to that. If you have an electric stove, you can manage according to that also. So timer just went off. Now I'm going to check. So you, you know you just let this cool off, it's depend on pressure cooker. You know, pressure cooker need to release all the press up well, then we have to open okay you see so you know some some pressure when you uh, stir this you have to be aware from the pressure cooker because sometimes you know the stick on the bottom they can come out like come out on your face so just be careful dal is ready so look like a little bit of like you know it's, uh, kind of runny dal which is good because especially orange little they always gets so thick you don't eat right away you just wait like this cool for maybe 15 minutes then you can uh, serve okay so this is two way you can eat see you can taste this dal hmm it's good you can taste if you need like a salt if you need uh, any chili powder and you can add some uh, cilantro on top and you can serve you can eat Oh, so another way I'm just gonna fry like onion, like a caramelized little bit. That's all. So actually, that's make a uh, taste more better, like more flavorful. You can add tomato if you want, but I'm not going to add tomatoes. It's uh, optional. Let this dal to get cool off, and while this getting cool off, I'm gonna fry this some onion very quickly. So I'm uh, cooking this outside. So I'm using one tablespoon of olive oil. That's all and one teaspoon of cumin seed you can hear the popping sound so as soon as you put the cumin seed and you can add the uh, onion it's very bright it's sun shining right now but i'm just gonna add onion right now just uh, fry this onion for maybe five six minutes or until they get a little bit caramelized okay so uh, onion got caramelized. I'm gonna add here in dal. Okay, our dal is ready. You can just uh, garnish with cilantro. Okay, so this dal is ready. I'm going to taste some. Mm. so good really so good and so much flavor you don't have to fry you can eat without that also 
if you see you now when your dal get thicker more see it's getting thicker when you like you know eat leftover and this so thick so what you can do heat some water and just pour it into dal and put some salt and some paper if you need it that's all and you want you can garnish with cilantro or mint some people they don't like cilantro so they can eat with mint no problem i hope you will enjoy if you have any question uh, comment below like subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell icon